hello guys welcome back to the ctx cloud and this is the video number 18 in our training series so today we are going to see how we can create a master image for pvs also we are going to learn in our next videos how you guys can create a lab in for infrastructure in uh, azure so you guys can see that i have created the infrastructure in azure so you guys can do the practice on azure as well so soon i am going to upload this video so just stay connected with the ctx cloud so let's come back to the our topic so how we can create a pvs master image for that let me login into my vcenter this is the shortcut which i have created for the vcenter so just this is ctx vcsc01 ctx cloud.in click on launch client and here you need to enter your credentials for the vcenter just click on enter so this is the virtual machines i have created for uh, uh, master vm uh, for the pvs so from this vm uh, we are going to create a vdisk on the pvs so let's see how we can create that click on uh, just launch the console of this vm here i have is already installed vmware tools on this machine uh, and now i need to join this machine to the domain so i am showing all the steps which you guys need to do this is again system.cpl and here you guys need to change the name of this VM. Quickly I am going to set up this VM for you. I am going to join this VM to the domain and then we will meet back. Guys I am back after joining this machine into the domain. So I have shown this process many times in my previous videos. So you guys can watch my previous videos. Now it's time to install some software on this master VM. So let me go into a shared drive where i have uh, placed a notepad plus plus file so based on your requirements like uh, whatever the uh, requirement in your infrastructure so first of all you guys need to install the softwares on your machine so that's what i am going to do is and i'm installing this notepad plus plus into this virtual machine lots of corporate companies have lots of uh, softwares which you guys need to install on the master image then the same software has been published onto all the machines so now as a as a testing lab i have installed this notepad plus plus after that you guys need to install the video on this machine so i'm i'm adding a uh, iso image here for that you guys need to go on the, uh, vm properties after that you guys need to go on data store iso uh, where i have placed the iso so here is the iso folder and i'm going to attach a uh, citrix virtual apps and desktop 1912 lpsr iso image so after that you guys need to click on connect and ok and now you guys can see that the iso has been mounted into this machine after that you guys need to click on right click and then install click on start here you need to select virtual delivery agent for multi session os after that uh, you need to select uh, uh, while uh, provisioning mcs image we have selected this option the first one create a master mcs image but now we are creating this uh, uh, v disk for the pvs so here you guys need to select create a master image using provisioning service or third party provisioning tool so i am going to select this click on next click on next and here you guys need to select some basic options so i am using as default click on next here you guys need to uh, mention your delivery controller so my delivery controller is uh, let me show you ctx xdc server 01 let me check if i am able to connect this ok it's working go into properties and just copy this and enter ctx xtc svr01.ctx cloud dot in and test ok it's, the test is successful i am going to add this click on next click on next and click on next and install 
so guys it will take some time while installing maybe it will take 5 or 10 minutes to save this time i'm going to pause this video and we will uh, meet back after installation guys you can see that the video installation has been finished on this uh, master vm i'm going to reboot this now we are going to install the pvs component on this master image for that let me mount the pvs iso into this vm so just wait click on data store iso click on browse click on iso folder here you need to select the pvs iso uh, just wait just select this and click on ok and click on ok now the pvs iso has been mounted into this vm after that you guys need to right click and then install program here you guys need to install target device installation click on target device installation here you need to select target device installation click on this and the installation has been started for a first uh, while creating the vdx first time click on next here i need to accept all the terms and conditions from the citrix click on next click on next click on next next and install so it will take some time so just wait for one or two minutes now i need to uh, uh, click on finish and then automatically imaging wizard will open here this is the imaging wizard for the pvs click on next here i need to specify my pvs server click on ctx pvs let me uh, one check once again this is ctx pvs svr01 so just wait uh, let me go into my console ctx pvs svr01 click on next here you need to specify create create a v disk because we are creating the v disk first time so you guys need to select this option click on next here you need to mention the target device name so i'm giving the target device name which is ctx mst pvs svr01 so by default the vdisk uh, this uh, vm will create on the, the collection so i'm selecting this collection and click on next here you need to give the name for the vdisk so based on your infrastructure like you are creating uh, vdisk for hr you are creating vdisk for another gel for something another environment so you guys need to name this so i am giving the name win2 k12 gel poc poc or you can say that dr so first of all we are going to create the test image as, and after that we will create the production image so this is here you need to select vhdx so in vhd you guys have the uh, like limit for 2 tb so of uh, in vhdx you have the like more tb uh, requirement so you guys need to select vhdx click on next here i do not use tms but in the production environment we will use the tms uh, this is uh, for the microsoft licensing click on next here uh, image entire boot you need to select this option click on next here you need to select this optimize this image uh, this uh, vdisk for the uh, pvs so i'm selecting this click on next here you this will start the imaging process so you guys need to click on create so in the back end it start creating the vdisk after that click on continue and here this is the important step you guys need to click on no and then shut down this machine and change the network settings so if you will go click on yes then uh, this vm will reboot and then imaging process will fail so click on no and just wait for one minute it is shutting down because we need to change the boot options so uh, we need to select the boot, uh, network boot on the top 
so that whenever this VDisk will create and we will create multiple VMs from this VDisk so these will boot from the network uh, network card rather than booting from the hard disk so my VM is shut down right now this is the master image click on edit and here you guys need to go on VM options click on boot options and here you guys need to select force BIOS setup during next boot so you guys need to select uh, check this option click on ok and here you guys need to power on this virtual machine so this will go into the BIOS click on power on and you guys can see this this is in the BIOS so here you guys need to change and the boot options so here you guys can see this it's the hard disk the first option so i am going to select this one network boot from intel 1e0 this is the network uh, adapter for the uh, v uh, in vmware so i am changing this to the first option and now click on f10 and then save these settings so now this will re uh, boot from the network card and you guys can see that the VM has been started and now after that it will start capturing all the uh, information from this uh, master VM to the V disks. so I'll show you just wait just enter the credentials you guys can see that it start copying the information on the VDisk so if you guys will not change these settings so imaging will fail at this step and again you guys need to create a another VM and then uh, this is the like loopback process you guys need to follow so that's why I have suggested this step change the network boot card to the top so that it will boot from the network card and it will capture all the information into the VDisk. So now I'm going to pause this video because it will take around 20 minutes to create a VDisk on the PVS. So let me show my PVS as well in the background. So as of now, there is no VDisk here in the collection. You guys can see that and the name which we have given uh, while imaging process. So this VM has been created similarly a vdisk will create here so might be it's uh, start capturing that's why it's not showing as of now so we'll see after some time so guys you can see that there is a vdisk uh, creation has been started on the on the store so again like this is the process going on so i am going to pause this video so just uh, we will meet back after 10 minutes it's coping meanwhile let me show you some interest something interesting so you guys can see that i have taken the rdp of this uh, azure vm and here i have created xtc store front active directory sql server so this all i have created inside azure so you guys can see that these are the machines inside azure so the guys who do not uh, who are not able to buy the new servers and they do not have the infrastructure to practice the citrix so they guys can do in inside azure so so you guys can do the practice inside this azure so that's what i want to show you guys so now let's come back to the like pvs so i don't want to mix up all the things so here you guys can see that my VDisk creation has been completed now I'm going to click on done now my VM is back after that you guys need to shut down this master VM click on continue and now you guys need to go on PVS so here let me refresh this and you guys can see that the VDisk has been created and it's in the private mode as of now so after that we guys need to do some changes on the VDisk so I'm going to upload the next video on this because if you will cover all the things into the same video so it will 
uh, go around one hours and two hours so that's why i'm going to create a next video on this so just stay connected with the ctx cloud subscribe my channel